Some creepy man is watching me and I don't like it. And now I'm going back to my car after I got my stuff. He's still watching me. I don't like it. <sighs> I'm using a new camera right now. Um, I'm going to wait here for a second because the creepy man is still watching me. Today is like the first day that I've actually put on real clothes because I'm going into work. Um, so hopefully everything goes according to plan. Bought some water too at CVS besides the Cetaphil or Cetaphil, whatever you call it. I call it Cetaphil. Um, but it's good times. It's a different camera than what I was using before. Oh, really? Why'd you have a different one? This one I thought maybe was better. I don't know. <laughs> it was more expensive, so that oh, means really? it's better, yes. right? More expensive is always better. Yeah. In my mind. In my mind, too. I see you're wearing that shirt again. Consistent. Yeah. Can I get one? No. You have enough. Yeah. Plenty of stuff. Can you buy me this? What? One of these. Can you buy me something? Yeah. Will you buy me something? Like I don't know. I just got a comment from someone that said, "You keep a, you all you do is ask to be first off or something like that." Because my my twelve year old likes stuff. Yeah. If they don't notice, though, I always bring you stuff too when I can. You know. It's just you're used to asking me what happened here. Yeah. That's how we show our love in our family. How much stuff do we give each other? We only know possessions we don't really know how to show emotion yeah I don't hug so whenever we give each other jewelry or gifts or food it or means we really love each really other means it's love that's love <laughs> a lot of people function that way I think yeah I'd rather have um, some new piece of jewelry than a hug Absolutely. <laughs> what are you wearing with your Two. I have a, I have one. Brown diamond and blue sapphire. sapphire. And me and Rose. Um, and what are your? You never gave me the Skagen catalog. I know. I'll give it to you. Debbie. Debbie. See, she spells it I E, not with a Y. This watch looks good with this shirt. Yeah, very matchy. Janine Pear. Mm -hmm. I've got all my jewelry on. I haven't worn a bunch of jewelry in a while since I have this face. Clyde's at home. Let's see, that's yours. And then this one is going to be mine. And then we'll be matchy matchy. That's nice, right? Mm -hmm. And then we'll hold hands. Me and Zephy will hold hands like mother and daughter. <laughs> This is what, weird. What's that brand? I don't like that. I brought my lunch in one of our exit art bags. Um, really cute. This is my lunch bag, but I'm having cherries for lunch and an apple for later. So here's my outfit of the day. I wore this gold chain by Lisa Tabas, which is longer than five feet, but I think it might be eight feet. I'm not sure. Um, my Sydney Evans disc necklace. Um, Lisa Tabas gold bracelet. Uh, this dress is by Only Hearts. I think you've seen it before. Um, lots of bracelets. And then my shoes are by Christian Louboutin. And they are actually very uncomfortable. Um, and I just keep washing my face. And I'm about to change because I'm going to work out and stuff for the day. Uh, face is so red. Sunburned. I bet you want to switch into my workout attire. Um, I get confused if this camera is recording or not. Uh, this is the stuff that I got at Lululemon yesterday, and it's their stuff really makes your body look really nice. Like it gives you all the curves in all the right places. Um, 
so I got this sports bra yesterday, which is like a striped one, which was really cute, and they had like tops made of it too. And then this cotton top, and then it's got um, like where this mesh area is where it breathes. So it actually like breathes underneath your armpits and stuff, even though whatever. And then I also got um, these pants, which are the Wonder Under Crop Pant. Um, these socks, by the way, ex I don't know how you pronounce it, Xperia, they're really nice ones. Um, they're right, right now they're on sale at, what's it called, uh, Sports Authority, buy one, get one half off. Uh, and I gotta go pick up my tennis shoes now. But I wear, like, I'll wear my, like, little diamond pendant. Um, I've always just worn a diamond pendant, um, and never take it off. I shower with it on. Um, I just think that they're nice, and they always look pretty, um, whether it be alone or layered with other things, so, um, I keep that on. And then the bracelets, I just keep them on because I shower with them on. Sometimes I'll wear less of them, sometimes I'll wear more of them, um, but I typically am wearing some, so I just shower with them on. Uh, yeah. I had a girl email me today about acne scarring and um, I know I should only talk about it on my other channel because um, this is more a day in the life but my life is about right now is about my skin um, because I have monster face it's not really that bad anymore it's just kind of um, it's actually the laser treatment I see like a major improvement and um, but what she was asking me is she said she's only 15 and she picks her face and she was wondering about like scar treatment my best advice is to keep your hands off your face I have the biggest problem with keeping my hands off of my face um, but you'll see that if you should really start taking care of your skin as soon as you can it's important especially when you're younger and like I know here in Florida like during spring break and stuff it was always about getting like super super tan um, but you'll see brown spots later on, like just from like what I've seen with my skin and my friend's skin and whatnot. Um, you really need to protect your face, like every day. Um, and s keep your hands off. I can't keep my hands off. That's why I've got to do these laser treatments now. Um, but you don't want to have to do that. So keep your hands off, you know. And just you know, just wash your face. It actually, I always feel better when I wash my face. And sometimes they say not to the overwash your face, but maybe if you're tempted to pick your face, maybe just wash it. I don't know. I'm going to Barnes and Noble now. Tell me how this camera is in comparison to the other. I hope it's really great. I got some books on being a um, person that does a raw food diet. What would you call that? A raw foodie? Oh, and check it out. I got this book, which is one of the, this series is one of my favorite series. Um, this is the top 100 juices. I, I think like I have the top 100 healing foods, diet foods, a top 100 everything. I just think they're really cool books, but I'd like to start making my own juices and stuff. And so I got, um, also this book, uh, get the glow, living the raw food. Um, I, anything that has the word glow in it really gets me every time. And then this raw energy, raw food recipes. And I think maybe because I don't really like to cook all that much, this might be more fun for me. Um, because it seems like maybe cooking raw food would possibly be easier since you don't really cook raw food, uncooked food. Hmm, I don't know. I really like these pants though. The, I want to get the full length ones. These are the Wonder Under Crop Pant by Lululemon. Totally get them if you can. Totally. I kind of swore off William Sonoma, but um, I am going to go here again because I need an avocado slicer and we'll see. Definitely better this time. Now I gotta figure out where I parked. Um, but I got these ice pop maker things. So you can make your, is that what they're called? Ice pops? I don't know. Um, they didn't say hi to me. That's all I wanted was just someone to say hi. That's all I want. I, do, I just want to be acknowledged when I come into a store. I don't want like them to be like pushy or anything. But I found what I wanted and I went up to the counter and then she's like, Oh, you're going to buy that? I'm like, okay. I guess that's better than last time.
I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to put ice in here, but I put like a whole thing of strawberries in here and a whole thing of blueberries. Is it doing anything? I'm really not sure, so I put half of this container of coconut water in here because it didn't seem to be doing anything. Ah, uh, that seems better. Okay, my mixture is good, so now I've got to make popsicles. So I was wrong. You have to put this in the freezer for 24 hours. So um, what I had to do, watch out Clyde, help me open the refrigerator. I put this in the refrigerator. Does anyone know how long that'll last for? I put, should have put ice in it because, um, actually I don't have any ice either. But I should have put ice in it because warm fruit like smoothie is not good. You ready? Uh, is it open or is it closed? 